Hi everyone. My name is Peter Morris and I'd like to show you people who are new to Fusion how to create a logo by copying another logo just to teach you how to use the tools, the polygon tool and so on. For those who are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going into the gear icon here. I'm not going to change anything because I'm just doing a basic um, example. <clears throat> example, I've got a cough, I've got a sore throat, so excuse me for that. I'm going to show you the basic way. So I'm not changing anything here. I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, playback 24. So I'll leave it, I just click cancel. Now I'll right click, New Fusion, and it's at five seconds, 24 frames. So I'll create that. I'll go and get the, the logo that I'm going to use. So I'll drag it in. Now I'm going inside Fusion. Actually, let me go back. I'm going to drag Fusion on the uh, timeline, then go into Fusion. Move this one out of the way. I'm going to get me a background connected to video art and I'm going to get me a polygon. Let me get the logo and drag it down here. Hit one on the keyboard to put it on the screen. Close the media pool. And now, get the, um, put this back, just made a mistake. I like the polygon and click to make the selections. You can be more take more time in doing yours. I'm just doing it quickly just to show you an example. Now that I got this um, shape, I'll uh, click on the background. Oh, sorry, I'll click on the polygon and tick the invert and bring the size up to about, I'll say, 0 0.05 and it enter. I get me another polygon. Get me another polygon, that's polygon 2. And I start making the shape of the letters. Sometimes you see where if you're not close to the edge, you can pull it in. There's your first letter. Now we get me another polygon by just making sure this is highlighted and just click on the polygon. And now we've got number three. I'm going to right click and arrange tool to grid. Also, I'm going to right click, go into options and change this pipes. Don't know how to pronounce that word. Anyway, back on three. I'm going to do the G now. I 
mess this one up. Okay, I'll start over again. Ball again. Get to the G. Go the opposite way. Now we got the letters all done. So what I'm going to do is click on the background icon and change this to gradient. I'll just leave it like that for the time being. I'm going to get another background. Before I do that, I'm going to get a transform. Not on the that one. I want it on the uh, this one. So if you hold down shift and the blue comes up, you know you're connected. I'm going to uh, put this background over here. We'll create a merge. And if you see the screen comes like that, just use Control and T to reverse the uh, connections. Now this background, I'll change the color to something like maybe blue. See how that looks. And with this background, I'm going to highlight that background and control spacebar and type in sh uh, drop for drop shadow. Now we got a drop shadow behind this. I won't mess about with these. I'll just leave them as are. You can change them if you want to get, you know, whatever. But I think the standard setting is good enough. I'm going to uh, I like the background again. No, um, I, I like the uh, shadow. Control space bar. This time I'm gonna get glow. Drop that down. And now we get this color. I'm going back to this transform. And I'm gonna, I'm going, sorry, I'm going to this background. I'm going to go into image and here it says 1920 by 1080. I'm going to put the width to 1080. Hit enter. Oh, I've forgotten one thing. I should untick this one, this resolution. Now you can do it. Click enter. And now we've got the true scale like this size over here. You can use the transform to make it bigger or smaller. And that's it. Now it's comparable to this one. And if you go into edit, that's it. That's how it looks, full screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll do more of these or other things in the future. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.